Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in Dapper reading Psalms 31 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble, thou hast known my soul in adversities, and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy, thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble, mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sign. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear of mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O God. O Lord, I said, thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of, my, of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things, proudly and contemptuously, against the righteous." O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath shewed me his marvellous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O, Lord, o love the Lord, all ye his saints, for the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Alright guys, so here we see again where David is again telling us of how God has actually kept him, how God has saved him, how God has preserved him. And even when he thought that the Lord had actually turned his back on him, when he thought that the Lord has, had basically given up on him, when he thought the Lord had basically turned his back on him, he actually called out, he still continued to call out and have courage in the fact that the Lord will come through for him eventually and the Lord did do accordingly and so he's saying to us all he's encouraging us all to love the lord and as we all should know by now david was a king who encouraged his people to serve god and to trust in god that's just how he was that's just the type of king he was he didn't want god for himself only 
he wanted to share God with the people also. He wanted the people to have a level of love for God and have a relationship with God as he had a relationship with God. And so he always welcomes others to praise. And he was the one that set up the psalteries and all those people. He was the one that actually set them apart, if we all recall that. And it wasn't him per se, but it was God that led him to do so. But just, but that is just to show you that he wanted to be in alignment with God's will and God's purpose over his people and over himself also. And he did everything he could to ensure that that was enforced. That's just the kind of king David was. And here we see him encouraging us even now to love the Lord. And he to have faith, to continue to have faith in the Lord and trust in the Lord. Because he will indeed come through for us. We just need to wait and to keep the faith. All ye that hope in the Lord, meaning all he that have faith. Hope is basically interchangeable with faith here. And trust also. So trust in the Lord, have faith in the Lord, hope in the Lord. Okay? Alright guys, so that's basically what I wanted to take from this. And I mean, there are other things to take from it, but that's just what I wanted to point out to you guys. So whenever I give something, that's just what I want to point out to you guys, okay? And you're free, I mean, like I said all the time, pray before you read your Bible. Pray to God and ask him to reveal all that he wants to reveal to you because I cannot give you the word he wants you to get unless he wants me to deliver that word to you. And if he wants me to deliver that word to you, it will certainly happen. But if that's not the case, it won't happen. Probably wants me to deliver a word to somebody else and you will get your word in your due season. That's just how it is. Okay, guys, so when I take something, I'm just taking something from the scripture it's not that that's the only thing there okay and remember one word can actually mean a million other things to other people that's just how great the lord is and that's why we cannot understand his works and that is why we ought to praise him because we cannot understand him okay all right guys so i'm gonna leave you right there Please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.